December 14th, we headed down to Wallingford, Connecticut to see Three Days Grace at the Christmas Chaos. And um, lo and behold, there was a massive school shooting right where we were headed. What a downer. I mean, how sad for all those people. And we just happened to be driving right past there on that very day. Unbelievable. So sad. Such a sad day. We were worried the show wasn't going to go on. But uh, no worries, the show did go on, and little did we know it would be the last time Adam would perform a three days grace. But tonight, for this moment, we need to pay some respect to what happened yesterday. You know, when we woke up yesterday, whatever town you woke up in, whether it was Wallingford, maybe it was Manchester or Bristol, Farmington, or even if you grew up and woke up in Newtown yesterday, the day started off pretty normal. The difference is, those little boys and girls didn't come home from school. Their parents didn't get to tell them that they loved them last night. And those little boys and girls won't see another Christmas. 28 people were killed yesterday, and tonight, we're going to pay tribute to 27 of those people. So if you would, bow your head for a moment. Conversation with somebody and about the Adam solo show that we were going to see um, in New York City. She was from somewhere else, and um, I was in Quebec at the time. And we decided to go see Adam solo since both of us had fan pages and neither one of us had met him yet. Um, we thought this would be a great time to go see him, whatever, you know, just happened to happen. And um, that morning we were having a conversation on Facebook on a post and someone chimed in and said, oh, what are you guys talking about? I just heard Adam left the band. Huh? <laughs> That's basically what went through our minds. And I'm like, I'm thinking, you know, clearly a joke. So. And it's like, what are you talking? And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to go right to the source and go to Three Days Grace's official Facebook page. And behold there. <laughs> Needless to say, I don't, I think, I think everyone was like, it's done. I, that's the best way to describe it. It's just like, it's done. Hey! <laughs> Um, so, it's been an eventful day, and I'm sure that, uh, 
all of you um, know exactly if what you're I'm also a fan of Fred Ace Grace then you will know that in 2013 they changed their lead singer and in the three days grace fandom this caused a lot of drama it was just a mess until 2013 Adam Gonthia was the lead singer but on the 9th of January Three Days Grace announced that Adam Gonthia was leaving. Stunt. Beyond stunt. Um, about to go on tour. What? And people already had tickets for the shows and stuff, so people were just chaos. It was just. It's crazy. It was a crazy day. Shit, this is big. Rolling. Um, and those of us who supported Adam's decision were getting deleted. Fact, not lying, fact, we were all getting deleted and everyone slamming at him remained on the page, you know, their comments take, but um, at the time that's how we were feeling, we were a little bit betrayed. I mean, it's a band, whatever, you know, but it, that day went really badly for everyone. For him, for the band, for the fans, especially for the fans. My first thought was, Adam's sick, oh my god, no. You know? <sighs> what are we gonna think? Anyway, so. He loved Three Days Grace, and that surprised me. It's because of his health, and I mean, it's good that he left before before he got really, he really saw, sick. Um, just thought I would share some thoughts and opinions on some pretty sad news I learned um, earlier this week. Um, if you're a fan of Three Days Grace, then you may know that the lead singer, Adam Gonier, has left. He has left the band, and it really, really puts me in a depression mode. Um, he left because of some personal health issues, um, that they were non-life-threatening, and they weren't even... They weren't even major. But I guess, you know, he did what he did. Adam Gontier of Three Days Grace has quit the band. Apparently medical reasons are the issue, and to replace him for their upcoming tour, Matt Walsh from, I think that's how he pronounced his last name, from My Darkest Days is his replacement. Now, this comes as a shock. I didn't, it's kind of just shocking to see him leave, especially when they just released an album and had yet another hit on their hands. That whole day was just one shit job. show um, and I found that a lot of Adam supporters weren't being heard um, basically all you saw out there was you know uh, supportive Adam fan oh that comment disappeared so now you see the angry at Adam fans and, you know I was saying he's on drugs he's on this he's on that he's Anyway, um, I felt that he did, it wasn't fair. Like, it just wasn't fair what was going on um, out there on, in social media. And I thought, there's got to be a way or somewhere that we can support Adam publicly and it will be seen, visible, <laughs> not deleted. Um, and so, bing, I had an idea. I was like, ooh, I'll a, a simple, but like a. Uh, sort of a support Adam kind of page where anyone who had anything good to, good to say or supported his decisions or whatever would uh, can say what they want. Anyone can say what they want. They can say bad things about him. I don't care. I'm not going to delete anybody. Everyone's got a you know, uh, right to their opinion and, uh, you know, just because not everybody agrees with it. So I created a page, called it Adam Gonche Fans because that's basically who I made it for, and, you know, um, I made it that night, January 9th, 2013, and, uh, basically said, hey, guys, you know, I invited everybody, like, it was on my Three Days Grace page, and all my friends, and whoever else, you know, anybody, I would actually throw my page name in there, 
on the Three Days Grace page uh, for anyone who was complaining that, you know, yeah. So, and so people would come over they, you know, like my page and then they'd say what they want and that's fine. I left everyone, you know, let everyone say what they wanted to. And I said, if you could say anything to Adam right now, what would you say? And so people just, you know, started talking. And, um, Uh, two or three days later, um, I was friends with Tommy, uh, Adam's a good friend, um, and I asked Tommy, I said, hey, there's an idea, you know, people can go right people can see it, and, you know, help support him. Um, I said, Tommy, can I post a link to my page on, uh, on your wall? And he's like, sure. Said, okay, great, thanks. So I posted the page, and Tommy liked it, you know, a couple of other people, you know, liked it, and, um, a couple of days went by, so... Oh. I think it was like the fifth day of the page being up. Um, I was about to go to bed, and I thought, oh, I'll just check my notifications one more time. Follow well, my page, and at the time that I'm doing that, actually, um, a little notification came up on the side and said, Adam Conchie likes Adam Conchie accounts. I was like, oh, okay. Well, because, you know, there's so many fakes out there. There's so many Adam accounts that, and I didn't know at the time which one was really his Facebook or, uh, page or whatever. So I was like, I was clueless. And I thought, oh, it's just another, you know, fan, clearly. And so, uh, but I wasn't sure. And I went to the page and I went, you know, this kind of looks legit, but I'm not really sure. So I went to the one person who would know for sure. And um, she had a big fan page for Adam. And I said, enter the link to the profile. I said, is this, you know, another, another Adam Gaudier? Or what's the deal? She goes, no, that's, that's really his. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> She's like, why? And I'm like, um, this is like my age. And I knew it was going to flip because we never liked hers. Hers had been up for a few years at that point. So, sorry. She didn't speak to me the rest of the night, by the way. <laughs> Whatever. I just wanted to keep it quiet. I didn't want to, you know, brag or anything. I didn't want to, like, say, oh, Adam likes this pain. Uh, I wasn't going to do that. I just kept my mouth shut and I let people just, you know, post whatever they were saying. Um, knowing myself, knowing that he would peek at it or would see it or would look at it or it would come up in his feed or whatever. Greyhound, overnight from Montreal to New York City, got there at 5 30 in the morning and uh, met up with. My friend that I was meeting there, the other page owner, went to the hotel, and uh, yeah, that night, you know, we went to the show. And um, at that point, we were both hopeful. You know, it was like a small show with Solo. Oh, wouldn't it be great if we met Adam finally? You know, two fan page owners that have never met him yet. Well, everybody else is just like toy pictures of themselves with him. So the show. Is started with you know all the other bands and stuff like that and so you know, it was pretty quiet and nice and casual and um, I think just before he was supposed to go on maybe you know like a half an hour or so before he was supposed to go on um, comes walking out and uh, I was in the front row at that time and I was just you know what I don't care <laughs> beelined <laughs> beelined for where he was I did because I knew this was my one and only opportunity and so I walked up to him and he started to bid on the leather jacket um, that he later gave away for another thing. Anyway, and so I was waiting there, standing next to him. And he's bent over, you know, finding this thing away. And I'm just like, oh God, this sounds, this feels like forever. And uh, eh, he's done. Turns around, looks down at me because I'm only four foot ten. It's like fucking seven feet tall. 
looks down at me and I had no idea what to say. I honestly didn't. I was just like, oh, right. I'm supposed to speak now because he's looking down at me going, what the hell? <laughs> and so I thanked him. I said, you know, that fan page that you liked, I made it for you. And he thanked me very much for it. And um, that was it. You know, I just I gave him a hug and then said thank you and uh, asked somebody to take our picture together. <laughs> and uh, that was that. Yeah, it was awesome. It was my, I was, I was so happy. I was, yeah, I had been waiting nine years for this moment, you know, and it just popped up out of nowhere. And I, I even forgot to have, <laughs> I even, I had stuff for him to sign in case we met him. Um, totally forgot about it. <laughs> this is in my purse, like unsigned. You know, it was, it was an awesome moment for me. Like it was just such an awesome moment for me. And, um, I was really grateful that that happened because from that point on, everything was just downhill from there. And I didn't really figure out how to use it. I just decided to try it out tonight. And that's what happened. So, it's important to take this one. Take this one. Focus! Right! Oh, God. Anybody requested to be in the space on their immediately doing it? No, no, no. Yeah. 